Yeah, I can see someday when we replay this song <coughs> 10 years from now. What the heck did he say? <laughs> Almost 1030. Do you guys want to begin? Sure. Okay. Turn over to you. You've brought back to us. You have presented, I think you gave us copies to all of us, right? Everybody got so. a copy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a revised uh, budget uh, supplemental appropriation request. So present away, I guess, whatever you want to, um, whatever point you want to highlight. We've trimmed down pretty much. Well, there are still a lot of other needs, but we've trimmed down to what essentially we think we need to get through the end of the year. We've carved that out, and the basics of what we think we need to be trained and get the training right, we've carved it into the basics of making sure the election runs well, and the training we're focusing on at this point is going to eventually save the county money. We've trimmed it down to one director going to the training, and there'll still be at least 2750 but that training should save us at least two visits per election, I hope. It's an estimate. Um, and that's 1450 per visit when our contractors come out. So it's going to cost 2700 up front to send someone to training, and we'll save an estimated 2900 per election. That's, over time, going to save the county a fair amount of money. And then the other hope is that when the other when the first director gets back, the other one we can train the other person at least a little bit in house. We might not be certified, but at least one of us will be certified and the other one will have a better idea what to do. And the other trainings we're trying to do is to keep things as tight and into budget as we can. Other parts are just gonna cost. I mean the election's gonna cost the mandatory poll worker training is gonna be out on Directive 2014-21 sometime later today, saying that every poll worker has to be trained within 60 days of this upcoming fall election, which means we'll have them all. But that and that's normal, right? Don't they do that every before they don't, the election? Uh, not the last time they required every poll worker was at the presidential election. So this time they're going to require it all, and anybody who already trained this year is still going to have to train again within 60 days of this gubernatorial election. So last time they did it, if they had trained in the spring, they were grandfathered in. This time they're saying, there's been enough changes, we want everybody trained. So we have to bring them all in. And you two do that training? We will conduct that training, correct. I had a question on the, the second page of that. I don't know if you have it in front of you or not. I can't have it in front of me. Sure. Uh, so the staff 5102 uh, 2014 approved staff salary line 126,226 then actual salaries for two directors and two clerks is 120,000 so it's about 6,000 below what was budgeted and then you're asking for 2,000 more for salary yeah and 4,000 for the trainer I understand the trainer uh, the 2,000 more for salary is that because the trainer took some of the salary money, is that? Uh, there was a payout when the prior director left. There was a payout when the prior clerk, clerk left. So those had to be factored in there. And then the primary election, we had to bring in temps, and that just added up some. OK. I understand. Um, I, so do you feel that this request, then total request, is the bare minimum needed to conduct the election? Uh, we've crunched the numbers four or five times and we're holding off on any equipment or on any other pieces. We're just, we want to get the materials that we need, the contractors that we have to have for the election in, the training that we have to have, and proceed and make sure that the election runs smoothly. Well, I appreciate, when we met Friday, uh, I appreciate the fact that you cut this down to about half and that you've explained it fairly well to me at least. Uh, I'm still, as we talked Friday, I'm still just uncomfortable and uh, disappointed that we couldn't stay within the budget number. Uh, and I realized some of that with the turnover and the forms that you had to discard made that somewhat harder. Um, I think in, in the, at least when you get the budget next year, I, I, I try and expect all departments to look at the number that they get in December and say, hey, i got to find a way to make that work. 
Um, we'll at, endeavor to do so. I appreciate that. At, at this point, um, I know that we're going to have to appropriate something. I'm not really comfortable appropriating something, but I'm not comfortable not appropriating something because we're going to have to have the election. So uh, I think I'll take this under advisement and, and uh, appreciate you putting it together for us. Thank you. If I can uh, make a couple statements, because uh, we had our meeting last week sometime um, that they met each, they, the Board of Elections, the directors met with each of the commissioners separately to kind of outline so so the paper knows that. Um, the origin, the, you certainly, as your draft, uh, your proposal came down, and I'm just coming out, 36,950, now we took 800 out of that, correct? Is that still? That's, I took 800 that, out of that, that's still that. conversation. And, um, and basically we've got um, about 13,400 in there that is, that is an investment that the commissioners would make in a board of elections that could minimize outside support coming in for training and technical support. And based on your figures, that investment of 13.4 would reap roughly $3,000 an election. I want to make sure I have my Sorry, fingers straight. Which is next year, if we have two elections, it would be a $6,000 savings. If we have four elections, it would be a $12,000 savings. So if the commissioners would grant this uh, request, we could feel fairly safe on when the budget's coming. And also, I think we have to note that the new directors did not make the budget. It was the old director that made the budget. They had to live within the budgets that was set up by the old director. I think that's, that's that at least, if it's valid or not, that needs to be mentioned. But that from the commissioner's standpoint, when next year's budget comes in, we should be looking at a minimum of $6,000 reduction in your, in your line item when you got for outside support and outside technical assistance, a minimum of $6,000, that's assuming two elections, and possibly $12,000. Yeah, so when I look at it and look at what you have requested here, to, to uh, help eliminate some of the outside sources, this potential, a $13,400 expenditure could have roughly a year payback. So I mean, it's again, so I, I just want to make sure, next year when it comes, with this, later this year when it comes budget time, those are items that I'm going to be looking at to make sure that we've reduced that cost. If, if the commissioner so desire to grant this, proposal and spend this extra money that next year there's got to be a reduction I mean it's it's no different than equipment when I purchase equipment in the business there's a payback period spend this we can pay this back over this period of time and uh, that's going to be a big one a big one in my mind uh, also I just think that it's worth mentioning that um, we did look at Sandusky County which is a comparable size county in their budget to run their board of elections and maybe everything is not completely apples to apples but is is significantly higher than what Seneca County's budget is um, so that that bodes well for your predecessors that they did a good job of keeping cost in check on the expense of the board of election and we ask you to to continue with that diligent overview of it because when I see what Sandusky County spends versus what we spend, it's obvious that Seneca County has been doing a pretty darn good job. I got a question on the stuff, the, the 11400 for um, 2450, account number, line item 2450. The standing contracts annualized. It mm -hmm. says okay. The, that eleven thousand four hundred. So that doesn't go away with the E S and S training that the director would do. That is a have to even if you were both trained as of right now. If we were both trained as of right now, that would be reduced but still be there. 
<coughs> we don't know how much it will be reduced. We're estimating at least 2,900 in election. Okay. Because that 11,400 comes in with three days election support for technical problems or machine breakdowns around the election, and at 1,450 a day for ESNS to come in and program set up and prepare the machines. The training we'll be going for, one of us will be going for, will be to do the setup and programming of the machines. So, so if we approved money for training and that, that probably will be less. But you just don't know how that, okay. We have to kind of get our legs under us after training to know how much we're going to save. Our best ballpark is going to be two per visit. You can say 2900 <coughs> per six months. <coughs> On a special election time, it you know, adds up even more. And we won't know until February and August whether we're having, well, we'll know in January and July next year whether we're having specials. But right. it was all costs. And that training that's in the Cincinnati area is in a couple of weeks? So it starts on the 27th. <coughs> next, next, next week. So we really need to make so I was handling this a decision next now well, to be able we, to take advantage of that. If we uh, decided that we were going to do it, we could still pass it next week as long as they knew that it would be appropriated. Because everything at the auditors is on a reimbursement basis. So the, to the 2750, if we said, <clears throat> if we decided we were comfortable saying go ahead and do that, that would allow you to get registered and do what you needed to attend that training that starts 27th. And I guess we could we could make the determination if we wanted to assure them that that 2750 is for sure going to be appropriated. Please understand, we're not picking on the board of election. I think if that every one of the departments come it. back and look at a 10 percent increase, I'd have more gray up here than what is already up there. I don't want that. It is part of our job to make it hard to ask for money. <laughs> <laughs> How could I feel better? I hate to say it that way. <laughs> I, I, if, if the board of elections, that board, wants to try the training, I think we should try the training like so. Yeah. I'm good. So what you're proposing, Commissioner Wagner, is that we approve the training part of their, of their request and the rest of the others will stay in review? Well, I, I guess... <coughs> I, I, I guess we want to assure them that we're, whatever we pass in resolution and appropriations next week, that we for sure would include that 2750. I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that they can move forward with getting, okay. taking advantage of the training that's closest that it's ever going to be, probably. It's closest and at a significant savings over going out to their home office to do that training. Yeah. Because they built that price into the contract, and that's huge. It, it, it sounds like that at least two of the commissioners, I don't know. Probably haven't heard from you that were at least limited, sick, uh, receptive on the training part of it, so that they can next week we can fill at least two of the three. And again, I don't want to put words well, in your mouth. That's what I just said. I'm, are, I'm are comfortable you, with that training. Are you okay? So it sounds yeah. like all three of us are you know what I said? comfortable <laughs> with that. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. I don't want to put. I didn't want to put words in That's right. There. Okay. Um, so that something that you could go forward with, and in the meantime. I think we all have to do some soul searching and and if you can come up with some other ways to cut that will certainly help i will let you know if we come up with anything good or even if we come up with anything small yeah i mean it's just like the 800 that we cut out in, in our meeting i mean not a lot but it's yeah. um, okay we're we gonna act on this next next week think if we can give our input to Stacy and she can put together what we yeah. if that's good yes. I'm fine but at this point it looks like we definitely will approve the training part of it so you can thank you go forward and, and, and do that and yeah don't want you to miss that opportunity yeah. Yeah. we know that but I but that, don't know that otherwise we're apparently not ready to I know I I don't know that I am. I wanted to hear what their thoughts and comments were today, as well as you know anything. And appreciate Carl meeting with me yesterday. Yeah. Thank you. So. Thank you all for your attention to what our needs are and uh, coming down, taking a look, and see how things are. Thank you. Okay. We'll continue to digest, and we'll have some form of resolution. Check with Stacy, or watch when the 
proposed or the tentative agenda comes out. Um, Monday. Yeah, it comes out on Monday, and that Tuesday is the night meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. All right. Is there anything else to go to the order? Not for me. Any additional citizens' comments? Okay. Seeing none, I'll take a motion to adjourn. I move. Second it. Second, second. All in favor say aye. 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 We stand adjourned. 1045. Thank Easy you. Peasy.